So my name is uh, Samson Chung. I'm an associate professor of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and the Viz Center. The major theme is how to use multimedia image processing and signal processing to solve societal problems. I'm, I'm interested in using the technology and help people in a very uh, realistic and immediate way. My research can be divided into two parts. The first part is to look at the um, privacy, how to protect privacy in signals. How can we use technology to, at the same time, provide us with the necessary security for the governments to do their job, for our military to do their job, while still protect our you know, civil liberties, our privacy, all the values that have been cherished in this nation. And the second part is trying to use multimedia to help, particularly in medical science and also in psychology, but developing assistive technology. And that gets started uh, with my son, uh, who was diagnosed as uh, autistic. I think engineering can be, play a big part in helping them because, hey, kids nowadays really love all the technologies, all the gadgets, all the toys, and that could be a very, very good way to help him and other people like him. So um, that's how I get started. Some a couple of years ago, trying to basically just play with him and you know thinking of more imaginative ways to help him. I have two NSF projects, uh, one for each. Um, uh, one of them is to protect privacy in distributed computations. Nowadays, you know, especially the prevalence of all the smartphone tablets and clouds, all the computations, all your data are basically everywhere. So we are developing techniques so that your data can be encrypted in one device, but all this encrypted data can be processed anywhere. So you can imagine doing any computations, you can enhance your pictures, uh, you can process your video, essentially over the clouds or anywhere else, and the clouds will have no idea what the data actually are. The second NSF project is on autism therapy. Using computers, uh, we can actually simulate a mirror, but actually augment it to actually create better behaviors so that they can essentially learn from themselves by looking at this enhanced mirror image. I can see in the future some of the technologies that I'm developing right now could be used in many other uh, contexts, some of the things that I may not even be able to think of. My job is to, first of all, you know, develop the technologies and then maybe work with other people to make the technology known to as many people as possible so that they can give me feedback so I'll say, okay, maybe we can use this in a completely different ways. And uh, I think that is how, how usually the technology is uh, being you know, propagated through the world. Mm -hmm.